Today we're going to be covering the differences between airless, HVLP, and conventional spray guns. The goal of this is to help you to know which kind of spray gun might be right for your particular application. The first gun we'll use is an airless gun. An airless gun uses high fluid pressure against the tip to break up a paint. Airless is very fast compared to HVLP and conventional and is able to easily atomize heavy coatings without the need for significant amounts of thinner. Airless fluid delivery is determined by the tip size that you use and the pattern of the fan is determined by the tip size. You can't adjust an airless as far as the pattern or the amount of paint you're getting into the, into the uh, pattern at the gun. You're strictly determined by the tip size. This makes it a very simple to use solution but can give you a little bit less control as far as for fine finish needs. So an airless is very well suited uh, for higher speed as well as ease of use. You may see that there's issues sometimes controlling the amount of paint you deliver to a surface and you may see that it can be a little more uh, unforgiving when it comes to control. Uh, the other thing with an airless is it is you have to be a little more cautious from a safety standpoint due to the high pressure of the paint you could in injure yourself if your hand would come in contact with paint coming from this gun. And a HVLP or conventional gun will not typically have pressure behind the paint at a significant amount that would cause any issues. Obviously an HVLP or conventional gun, you can use those as a gravity cup or a siphon cup or a pressure feed system. This, the ones we'll be demoing today are pressure fed as that would be what you would typically be comparing to an airless gun. So we'll show you an airless system here and how fast it'll go. The paint we're using is similar to a latex paint, and there's no thinner in what we're spraying here. And you'll see it's a little harder to control the volume of spray. I'm using a 15 thousandths tip. Uh, the numbers on a tip are usually given like a 5 17 or a 5 15 The first number determines your fan pattern size. You double that, and that gives you your fan pattern. The second number, the 13 or 15, is the opening size. The larger the opening, the more paint we'll get. This is a little large for the paint I'm spraying, but it'll give you an idea of airless and the better speed you achieve. So you can see it's a very fast spray. I don't have a lot of control over it compared to an HVLP gun, and it typically is a little bit of a coarser spray. It's still a decent finish, but if you're looking to get an automotive style finish or really break up the paint to really fine particles, ultimately giving you the best appearing finish in the end, an airless will be a little bit more limited. You can use a fine finish airless tip, which will help to give you a better result. All right, so this is a conventional spray gun. We're using a pressure pot. The material isn't thin, so you can see some of the limitations as far as breakup go. Uh, our fluid pressure is around 20 pounds and our air pressure is around 20 as well. Some of the main benefits to conventional are ability to break up heavier coatings but still maintain finer control of your pattern or open it up and widen the pattern to go faster as well. We'll show you the pattern wide and then I'll show you how I'm able to choke that down for finer control, especially compared to an airless. So that's with the pattern relatively wide. I can choke down my needle and nozzle, on, my needle and air pattern on this gun to give you a very fine, tight control as well. Additionally, I have control in the handle, which allows for further uh, manipulation of how much fluid and air I'm giving. The needle slowly pulls back, allowing paint to enter. So if I pull just a slight bit, that gives me a little bit less paint than if I just pull the trigger full, fully back. You can see I can really dial in to a fine pattern or a very small spot. What that gives you is control so when you're painting smaller products or don't need to move at a fairly fast rate you get a better result. Additionally, you can better control how fine the paint particles come out by increasing air pressure or decreasing fluid, and that lets you have a better ability to create a finer finish. These are very useful in a variety of applications, wood finishing, 
automotive if you are used to a conventional style gun uh, as, as well as industrial paints. Next we'll show you HVLP. The main benefit of HVLP over a conventional gun is that you get a higher transfer efficiency. Conventional and airless are approximately 35% efficient due to a little bit of a harder amount of pressure that the product hit, that the paint hits the surface with. It creates waste. An HVLP is very soft in the way it sprays, but be limited in its ability to break up thick paints. A latex is a good paint to see that with, and we'll show you that in just a moment. The final gun we'll show you is HVLP. HVLP to be used properly has a PSI that's mentioned on the cap of the gun. We have to stay under that pressure when feeding air to the gun to achieve its benefits related to transfer efficiency. That's why it can have trouble breaking up heavier paints. It uses a high volume but a very low pressure when the air is given to the gun. There's venturi that slowly reduces the pressure of air. The high volume is another challenge for HVLP. You have to have a pretty large compressor, around 20 CFM, to really get superior results as far as for painting for longer periods of time. And that can be a limitation if you're a homeowner or an enthusiast that doesn't have a large compressor in their shop with a high CFM. We'll show you here. What you will see is that it's very soft and it's still controllable, much like the conventional gun, but it won't have as much waste as the conventional or airless gun. It will be a little thicker as far as the way it appears on the surface because we aren't breaking up the particles as fine at the low pressure of air that's used. You can increase pressure, but then you'll reduce the efficiency and not receive the benefit of the gun. So you can see it's a little bit of a coarser spray. This is a latex equivalent paint and you can see that the, the paint comes out a little bit more chunky but I can control it and dial things down much like an airbrush for, for very fine work. Overall you could expect to save around 15 to 30 percent paint using HVLP when you're using it and using a comparable airless or conventional setup. That's HVLP and that's conventional versus airless versus HVLP spray guns.